Hello and welcome to Heather TV, a day in the life of Heather. I just want to share with you my morning routine because I know there's a lot of people out there that can really benefit from this information. And I, this morning routine has really changed um, my life. It's, I have so much energy and my emotional well-being is incredible. My blood sugar is sustained throughout the day and it's really just amazing. So the morning routine is non-negotiable. And I've done some research on this and they say that the most successful people in the world have a morning routine. And I just want to share with you the morning routine that I do because I think that you can probably benefit from it if you put into practice in your life a, a routine similar to this. So even though you have to get up a little bit earlier in the day to get it done, it, it is 100% worth it because you have more energy throughout the day. So my morning routine consists of meditation, at least five minutes of meditation, where I just think of nothing. I create space in this five minutes. And uh, this allows me throughout the day to feel like I'm intuitively guided and um, just by creating that space and it really helps me with organization and knowing what to do next. So I would highly suggest five minutes of meditation. And then I do some personal energy work. I work on cleaning my aura, my energy, and I do that for a little bit. Um, and then after that energy work, I do fitness. And actually, some of the, I'll share some of what I do for the energy work, and that's tapping, EFT. So if you're not familiar with that, you might want to check it out. Uh, there's different ways to do EFT. Uh, there's different methods, and I kind of combine two different methods. I also do Qigong with the, with the EFT, um, which is really pretty amazing, and I've noticed an amazing change in my flow, my energy flow of my body. Um, so that's really pretty exciting. And then after that, then I do fitness of at least 20 minutes of fitness. And it depends on the day. On Sundays, I actually do kundalini yoga, which takes about a good hour and 20 minutes. Um, and so it just depends on how much time I have in the day, but the minimum is 20 minutes of fitness. And then I have a breakfast, and this breakfast is a game changer. The breakfast that I have is either grains with coconut milk, or a green juice. And a lot of people now know about green juice. It's really pretty popular all over. The green juice is uh, celery, cucumbers, and what else do I put in there? Parsley, some lemon, and green apples. And I'm probably forgetting something, but basically it's green juice. So either I have green juice or I have the grains. The grains are bar uh, either barley, millet, um, the Bulgarian words are coming to my mind. Um, uh, amaranth, oat with some flax meal, flax seed in there. So I kind of mix it up depending um, the the time of the month actually what grains I have. But I've noticed a huge difference because my blood sugar levels are sustained. I don't have any energy or level crashes where I just feel like, whoa, and I feel fuzzy headed. The grains are amazing. I, before the grains, I would always have something like an egg or something like that um, for breakfast. And really the grains for me have been quite the game changer and helped me with my energy levels throughout the day. So if you're not really a fan of eating grains or you don't know much about it, you might want to kind of check it out because it's really an amazing breakfast. And then I use coconut milk because I'm staying away from dairy products. Uh, for me, the dairy products kind of um, aggravate uh, some allergy symptoms that I have and I just feel a lot cleaner and clearer if I stay away from uh, uh, dairy products. So that's why I have the coconut milk with the grain. And that's been amazing, this little more morning routine I have. And remember, this morning routine is non-negotiable. If you don't get up early and get it done before your other things happen during the day, it's non-negotiable, which means then it just happens later in the day. That's fine. If it happens at 11 o'clock as opposed to 6.30 or 7 o'clock, no problem, as long as you get it in as part of your day. So I hope that you find this to be helpful, which I'm sure you will. If you implement just even one of these into your morning routine, you'll notice a big difference. And if you're thinking about kind of changing up your morning routine and doing this, don't feel like you have to do everything all at once. Maybe just explore having a green for breakfast or maybe explore doing, learning about some energy work and just doing a little bit of energy work in the morning or maybe just get that five minutes in in the morning because I know that it's a lot to take in and it's better to take in a little bit and implement something small and then over time build than feel like, oh, there's no way I can do that and then you don't do anything for your morning routine because that's not good either. So just implement something small and you will be good to go for an amazing day. So 
ciao ciao for now from Bulgaria and until I see you again in another video or online training, remember, be true, be you, be.